Summer is in full swing here in Korea, meaning it's high time to seek out great vacation spots. But according to our EG1, splashing your savings to fly out of the country isn't the only option. Here's a number of local culture spots and events to help you cool off. Take a look. With the arrival of sizzling summer, people are searching for ways to escape from the heat. And to meet those demands, various events and festivals are being held to help people stay cool. Starfield Library at Coex Mall in south of Seoul is an open space where visitors can leisurely come and read for free. But it's also a popular culture spot where people can avoid the sun while enjoying various activities. The library has been opened for about a month, but as well as providing a bounty of reading materials, its cool air conditioning and wide open space are making it popular with visitors. With the heat warnings issued these days, it's too hot for our son to play outside. But in here, the air conditioning is cool and we can read in books too. So I got a day off from work today to have a mini summer picnic with my family here. Normally, we need to be really quiet in libraries and not disturb others. But this library is wide and open so we can freely chat, study and read. Every Wednesday and Friday this month, they're holding events where visitors can meet authors and listen to their insights. This Wednesday, two experts on famous films and paintings gave presentations on the different techniques used by directors and artists to convey their messages through their works. The talks cover a lot of topics I'm interested in, so I try to come here every week when I have time. Events like these are a great way for the authors and readers to communicate and share greater understanding of their works, offering visitors something to take away. Coffee shops are another great place to escape from the heat, and 10 branches of a local coffee franchise are trying to add some culture to their coffee shops. The exhibition gallery Tom showcases artwork from different artists every two months and runs throughout the year. Not many people visit galleries on their own, but coffee shops are visited frequently. So we hope by having these exhibitions here, people will naturally get closer to the arts. Our coffee shops are places for them to enjoy both coffee and culture. From acrylic paintings to 3D works made of pins on steel, unique art pieces by different artists give each cafe its own special vibe. I really like how we don't have to go on exhibitions to enjoy art, but can do so while drinking coffee and chatting with friends. And on a day as hot as today, the art provides entertainment so we can enjoy our time in the cafe. While some may not notice the art at first, when they do, they take the time to appreciate it. I thought the works were just decorations of the cafe at first, but I think it adds atmosphere to the place, making it feel like a gallery. It's very novel. There are also a lot of outdoor events, including the 21st Bhutan International Fantastic Film Festival. The 11-day event kicked off Thursday with glamorous stars and well-known directors walking the red carpet. I was excited to see so many celebrities, and I'm looking forward to watching some of the 290 movies that will be played in the city in the next 11 days. As well as movie lovers, many Bhutan residents drop by to see what the fuzz was about. We live nearby, and we just came to see what it's like. It was fun to see so many celebrities, and the cool breeze makes it a good day to be outside. It was really hot a while ago, but the excitement here seems to have cooled off the heat. I'm so happy we have such a famous festival in our city that provides us with cultural enjoyment. With lots to do on your doorstep this summer, why not spend your break at one of these special places this July? Yi Jiwon, Arirang News.